Hello and welcome to another skin tip. My name is Barbara Heuses. I'm the founder of Nomesia and today I will be discussing the importance of airless packaging. <laughs> When you buy a cosmetic product, it's important to look at the packaging first because there are so many different types of packaging and the packaging will already tell you quite a lot about the product itself. Not all packaging is suitable and I will give you some tips. What is most important about packaging is that it prevents the formulation from being in contact with air and with light. That way you can guarantee the activity of the ingredients, but also the stability of the product. Now, what do we mean with the stability of a product? That means that we look at three things, the scent, the color, and the texture. So it shouldn't smell funny over time. It shouldn't have a different color. And also the texture should stay the same. So no shifting of the formulation. And that is what you can prevent using airless packaging. So how do you recognize it? Airless systems are always pump systems and pump systems in the end they will turn like this. They will really become very flat, almost vacuum and this is how airless systems work. This packaging is opaque, that means that there is no um, light coming through and it's not transparent at all. Just to guide you some through some of the packaging that is not airless and therefore is one of the first screenings that you should do when you buy a product. Jars like this, for example, they are not airless. So every day the formulation comes into contact with air and UV and therefore the activity of the ingredients cannot be guaranteed. Also, it's less hygienic, of course, because every day you use it with your fingers and bacteria can enter the formulation. Another thing is transparency. Even though this is dark, it's still transparent. So when you look into the packaging, try to go for opaque, which is really not transparent. No light can come in. Thirdly, these dropper formulations, as you can see already yourself, every day the air comes in. So therefore you can question yourself whether it's stable, especially vitamin C in these type of packaging. You should not trust it because I really have doubts how they can guarantee it's stable. Also, like this, tubes like this, which do not have a pump, it's not airless. Um, other flip-top caps like this, also it's not airless. The only airless systems that you can find are really like this, and this is a hard cover. The ones that Nomeji uses, of course, which is a soft cover, it's the tube. Or like this as well, the same again, it has a container inside this and also has a hard cover. You cannot take it off and therefore it's completely airless. So this is my important takeaway. If you would ever buy again cosmetics, make sure you look at the packaging first because that will give you an indication on how this company is treating the formulation.